John Nolan, you're the manager of the Castleton Bear Fishermen's Cooperative. Tell me, what's your take on the election? Well, I had some politicians visiting me last week and I told them, like I'll tell any politician, is that our industry has been badly represented by every politician, every political party. In watching any media campaign there, there's nobody has mentioned fishing once. In communities like Castle Long Bear, it is our lifeblood. 95% of our economic survival is depending on fishing. Fishing fails, we can't move Castletown Bear. And I would like parties to come, not promising me anything, but be prepared to sit down after they're elected in their positions and power and treat fishing as an important industry for communities, if not for Ireland. Okay, today is January the 31st, a significant day in terms of Brexit. What are your fears and concerns? Well, I did an interview on the Times yesterday, the Sunday Times, and I told them like that, if the UK and their threatening start taking back their waters and talking about sustainability and trying to give them more quotas, I think the common fishery policy is dead. And I believe then that that should be a brand new common fisheries policy taking into account the rules on the ground of which Ireland must be represented very strongly. We got wrong completely in fishing. Like in our waters, they are now just taking monk as one species. We get 5% of the quota, and the French get 50% of the quota. In French waters, we get zero for that species, and the French have about 60% of the quota. Irish people should be angry that the fishing industry has been treated like that. Anne O'Leary, you're from Cork City, but you've been living in Castletown Bear for how long? 27 years. Okay, and you have strong views on what? <laughs> Um, I've always voted. Um, my major concerns at the moment would be climate, environment, access to health services, um, homelessness is a big concern. Um, those would be the, the big issues for me. And do you think politi election. the politicians at um, the, the level of um, the, the Dáil, do you think that they have any power, that they can do anything? Oh, I do. If they have the will, I think they have the power. Okay. Is there it's anybody in of having having making the decisions and doing it and getting together and doing it? Okay. So follow yeah. through. And follow are through. Any of the candidates that uh, have impressed you? Um, I think this time I'll vote for the Social Democrats and the Green Party. And after that, I'm not sure really. Okay. And what do you think they can do? Affect some change. I hope have some influence. Um, I think they should go into coalition if they can if they can make um, an impact. Okay. And are there any of the other parties outside of Fianna Fáil or Fine Gael that you'd would like well, to see I, in coalition? I think um, the government we've had in recent years could have done more um, about homelessness, about the health system which needs to be addressed. Okay, and specific to Castletown Bear, is there anything here that you think needs urgent attention? Um, I think all those issues probably um, affect us. Maybe homeless is not so much, but I do know of people who find it very hard to get affordable accommodation. Okay. McCarthy, you're the owner of the rather famous McCarthy's Bar here in Castletown Bear. We're coming into the election and there's people outside canvassing. What are the issues locally? Well, I'd say top of the list would be Bantry Hospital. Most important that it's not downgraded. Uh, Bera really needs that as a hospital. It's just top of the list, really. Apart from that, um, health care in general. I'd say the waiting lists are frightening. And for anybody down in Bera, we are so far away. You like to know that if you go to A&E, you will be admitted. I uh, know it's difficult and it's been a problem for quite a while and not sure with funding and stuff what the answers are, but it is an important issue. Uh, homelessness in Cork is a big issue with us. We did a fundraiser just before Christmas to help. I think luckily we're not too bad down here, but uh, when you see what is going on in the cities and any time you travel out, you see the homeless. 
Um, and, and is there anything specific to Castletown Bear, anything infrastructure-wise or just anything on your um, shopping list for Well, I think we're lucky dishes? that I think the sewage is being dealt with at last, which is a good thing. The roads seem to be coming. There is a lot of building going on. The pier is being extended. Uh, always worried about the fishing, of course, and the fishing rights. And today is such a special day as well with Brexit. So people don't seem to know it's a bit up in the air at the moment. But uh, hopefully things will be all right in that respect. OK, and a random question. I believe Cork South West has the highest number of female candidates. Now, obviously, they, but maybe one or two would be successful. Do you have any particular um, interest in the fact that there's women seeking election? No, I think it's a good thing to see, isn't it? Uh, but I think Bera is quite a strong female area anyway. When you think that we have uh, two school principals that are female, we have the Vanguardi, we have we had a female bank manager. Um, you know, women are quite strong and they have to be because the men are away fishing. Great. And can we give a plug to here? I believe this is all female as well. Female, yeah. Good and female it's been staff running it. All female for how long? Um, well, we do have a few men working here now, actually. Ah, do you? Okay, okay. all right. So, but no, we're, we're always delighted to see the women. But uh, Michael Collins is my number one. Ah, really? <laughs> and I didn't even ask. And why is he your number one? Um, I just feel that he does a lot for the people of Bera, and he calls down here every week. He has a clinic here. And uh, if you do ask him to do something, he gets it done. And it's just nice to have that contact, because, again, we are so far away. I didn't know him before he started coming down, but I do admire him and... I think he's fantastic doing the jobs with the cataracts and getting people up to the north, which we shouldn't have to do, okay. but he does it and he has helped so many that I know. Lovely. Yep. Great. Thanks for talking yep. to me. No problem.